Hi everyone, welcome to Mr. Queen PH and today we're going to see what's coming to you in the next three months in your money, career, finances, as well as your love and relationships from the time that you have watched this video. So this is a timeless reading for you. Mr. Queen PH is here for you if you want some insights or advice through my free readings here on YouTube. I also offer private readings, however, I am currently busy with my other projects, so I have stopped accepting private readings indefinitely. Since I am currently not accepting private readings, I have something for you. If you are looking for a reading personalized to your unique situation, then I highly recommend my sponsor, Keen. Keen connects you with gifted psychics, tarot readers, and astrologers. All you have to do is to create an account, and then you'll be able to choose from the hundred of readers who are online right now. These readers each have unique specialties designed to provide a deep understanding of your situation. You can choose whichever reader best suits your needs and you'll be able to connect with them via phone call or via text chat. It's nice to get confirmation or a second opinion from someone who can give you straightforward answers. You can have a reading at any time you want, wherever you want, because Keen is always available to help you 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Recently guys, I'm going through a difficult situation and I needed some clarity and I'm glad that Keen is there to help me. I browsed for tarot readers who can give me more insights regarding my plans this year. I was able to talk to a psychic tarot reader and the reading was spot on and she clearly gave me advice on which direction to take. She's straightforward and authentic in answering my questions and I feel so connected to her. I'm really glad that there is someone who can confirm that I am on the right track. And also, I've been single for around 10 years now so I asked her if I will ever be in a committed and serious relationship in the future and she said yes in three years time. She also described the type of person that I would meet and that's totally something to look forward to in the future. So if you want to know more about your future partner, Keen is there to describe that person and they will tell you when and how you're going to meet. Now here's your chance to get that reading from Keen. As a new customer in Keen, you could try your first 10 minutes for only $1.99. That's up to $99 of savings. That's a great deal for you all. Just go to trykeen.com slash QOP or click the link in my description to save big on your first reading. This is the cheapest psychic reading you could ever have online. Imagine it's only $1.99 or 110 pesos. That's already for a 10-minute private reading. So go to trykeen slash QOP or click the link on my description to get a reading and get a huge discount. Thank you so much for sitting through that and thank you so much Keen for this this opportunity now let's go to your video okay Gemini let's see what's coming to you in the next three months in money and love from the time na mapanood nyo ang reading na ito so don't forget to watch your sun moon rising and venus para sa iba pang mensahe meron tayong video na nagpapaliwanag tungkol dun link on the description okay so just an announcement currently hindi mo na ako tumatanggap ng private readings but pwede nyong itry ang keen you can have private readings at any time you want hindi nyo na kailangan maghintay pa ng schedule so for new customers they are offering $1.99 or 110 pesos for 10 minutes of consultation so that's already a great deal to start so subukan nyo na rin go to try keen slash qop or click the link on the description or sa pinned comment, okay? So, let's see, Gemini, what's coming to you in your money, career, finances in the next three months? So, tinan natin yung challenge muna ninyo. Your challenge is the sun, okay? So, maaring ano, um, nagahanap kayo ng trabaho, career na mag enjoy kayo, no? magiging masaya kayo. So, that is your challenge. Kung uh, alin yung trabaho or income generating activities na you will feel confident about yourself. Okay? So, tinan natin kung ano ang resources for you. Ano yung resources? And also, something na magagamit niyo mo yung iyong talents and skills. Okay? Being more creative. Ano yung resources? Available resources for you. You have the higher fund. Mm. Alam nyo, Gemini, marami kayong alam. 
Marami na kayong alam sa buhay, no? Uh, the Hierophant is like a teacher. So, yung iba sa inyo, meron na kayong uh, expertise, okay? So, yung resources nyo na yan, ito yung, ano, ito yung alam nyo na to the bones, no? What you are, you have mastered in this lifetime. And you can use that, yung kaalaman na yan, so you can share it to others para mas fulfilling yung life ninyo, yung career ninyo. Okay? Let's say for example, no, isa kang, um, let's say for example, magaling kang magluto. Okay? So, naging chef ka or naging cook ka sa isang restaurant for so many years uh, and yun din yung passion mo. And after some time, you feel like parang, mm, parang hindi ka na ganun ka-fulfilled sa trabaho mo or parang feeling mo may kulang. Okay? So, it seems na you need to upgrade. Okay? Ang available resources sa'yo is you, you know, you have mastered something na pwede mong i-share sa ibang tao. So, since master mo na yung pagluluto, you can help other people by sharing your skills, your talents. No? So, pwede kang mag- mag-open ng isang YouTube channel who, na meron kang mga isi-share ng mga recipes mo. Pwede ka rin magtayo ng isang cooking school no or culinary school. Maraming ideas na pwede mong gawin. Okay? So, available na yung resources, yung kaalaman mo nandyan na eh, no You can just tap into that knowledge or expertise na meron ka. So, ano yung magiging outcome nito for Gemini? Eight of Candles. Ooh, Eight of Candles is about messages coming through. Things are going to be to happen fast. Okay? So I think mas marami kang ma-attract na mga customers or ma-attract na opportunities once you tap into your talents and skills. Okay? So kailangan lang ano, open ka sa mga bagong bagay na pwede mong subukan. Okay, in the next three months. Let's get more messages for you. And alam nyo, number eight is also numbers and numerology. Eh? Number eight is about abundance. This is about money coming in para sa inyo. Pero, nangangailangan siya ng hard work. Kasi number eight is energy and is Saturn. And Saturn is about discipline, structure, and also rewards. Rewards. Ayan. So, kung uh, ginagawa mo yung part mo, you are taking action, you're doing your best, you are, you know, ginagawa mo yung nire-require sa'yo, no? Ng universe. You're going to be rewarded. Okay? Oh my God. Tinan mo, Gemini. <laughs> Di ba nabanggit ko sa inyo, you can be a teacher sharing your knowledge and skills. And that's what a mentor does. No? Ayan yung ginagawa ng mga mentor, ng mga teacher. Sabi rito, uh, someone is willing to share experiences in their field that will motivate you to do better or your work and teachings inspire others. So, you can be a mentor to other people. Maaring meron kang uh, yung parang ano, magiging benchmark mo. So, ibig sabihin siya yung magiging inspiration mo in becoming a mentor. So, you can also look for that person, no? And, mm, oh my God, Gemini, you need to take chances. Kailangan mong mag-risk. Kailangan mong sumubok. Kasi kung hindi mo yan susubukan, hindi mo malalaman kung magiging effective yan sa'yo, kung magiging, uh, magiging successful ka dyan. Okay? So, I feel like in the next three months, you're going to tap into your talents and skills and you're going to share that sa ibang tao. And you will find fulfillment and happiness and you will get a lot of attention from that. And from there, magkakaroon ng sense of, ano, uh, sense of purpose yung iyong life sa iyong uh, money, career, finances. So, it's hindi lang siya about magkano yung kikitain mo. It's also about the fulfillment, no? Na mararamdaman mo sa mga gagawin mo. Okay, so let's see your energy. Eighth house. Mm. This is the house of Scorpio and Pluto. And Pluto is about transformation. So, things are going to be changing sa'yo in the next three months. So, maari rin mag invest ka. Okay? mag invest ka sa talents and skills mo. And pwede rin tong mag-open up ka ng business na may kinalaman sa pag-share mo ng iyong talento. Okay? 
Whatever that is. Tatanan pa natin, Gemini. Ooh, grabe. Uranus. Energy to ng Aquarius. This is about change. Disruption and shock. <laughs> Okay, this really makes sense kasi Pluto is about transformation and this is a confirmation na may pagbabago talagang mangyayari. And Uranus energy is also about taking chances, taking risks. So, ang mga Aquarius ay risk taker and Uranus energy is taking risk when it comes to your money and finances and your talents and skills. Okay, so that is your money, career, finances reading. Now, we will go to your love and relationship okay so for the love and relationship na mga gemini in the next three months let's see what's coming to you ano yung challenge ng mga gemini in the next three months in money and love i love lang <laughs> love life oh the challenge is a five of cups. May mga disappointments kayo. Meron kayong... Uh, may mga expectations kayo na hindi na meet. No? Pwedeng person to that you are dealing with. Uh, meron ding regrets. No? May nagsisisi. Or meron kayong mga pagsisisi. So, tanan natin kung anong available uh, resources for you in this situation. Seven of coins. Mm. Kulang sa effort. Okay? Yung iba sa inyo, siguro sa relationship, para inisip nyo, sayang kung sana binigyan ko siya ng ano, mas maraming attention, kung sana mas nag-effort ako sa relationship, edi sana hindi, hindi naghiwalay or hindi nag-away or hindi nagka-problema. Okay? So, tinan natin. Kasi parang ano, you are, meron kang effort sa relationship pero parang kulang. Okay? Uh, and also, parang meron kang tinake for granted. No? So, ano yung magiging outcome nito for you? Nine of Wands. Ang nasa-sense ko rito, meron kang ipipilit na relationship na mag-work kahit na nagkakaproblema. Okay? So, syempre, um, Pwede yung ma-save. You can save a relationship kung may magbabago. Okay? Pero kung walang magbabago, mahirap rin tong i-save. Okay? Uh, parang magpapatuloy yung challenges, yung same na problema ninyo, magiging cycle lang yan. So, tinan pa natin. Oops. May lumipad. Okay, ito na lang. Mm, ba? Expectations. Knowing what you want will lead you to the right person. Minsan kasi, well, well actually, sa relationship, sa totoo lang, yung iba pumapasok sa relationship ng hindi nila sinasabi yung expectations nila sa person nila. Pero sa totoo lang, meron talaga silang expectations. So, parang it's just in, inside their mind. Tapos kapag hindi na meet yung expectations na yun, they will get disappointed and mafufrustrate na sila sa relationship. And doon na start yung struggle. Flirting. Mm -hmm. uh, so, this is about enjoying the moment with someone may lead you to romance. Okay. So, yung iba sa inyo, maaring nagkaroon kayo ng mga short relationships. Okay? Uh, or magkakaroon kayo ng mga short relationships in the next three months na marirealize mo ay sayang sana pala inilaban ko, sana pala inayos ko. Uh, dahil you will realize na sayang yung relationship. No? Uh, after mo makita tong person na to na meron na rin siyang iba. Mm -hmm. So, if you really want to have a relationship in the next three months or gusto mong ma-preserve or maayos yung relationship mo, you have to make sure na if you are going to enter a relationship, alam mo kung ano yung expect mo at alam mo rin yung person mo yung ina-expect mo sa kanya at alam mo rin yung ina-expect niya sa'yo. Okay? Para clear. Para just in case may mga, you know, may mga bagay na hindi na i-deliver, 
sa relationship, yung mga expectations na yan, may intindihan nyo. And you can make adjustments. Okay? 12th house. This is the house of Pisces and Neptune. Seclusion, escapism, faith, and institutions. Oh, ito kasi yung 12th house, uh, this is about anything hidden. No? Yung mga nakatago. So, minsan kasi, di ba, sa relationship, uh, iniisip lang natin, oh, gusto ko, ano, someone who is very caring or thoughtful. Uh, tapos, yung person mo naman, hindi niya alam na yun yung expectations mo sa kanya. Eh, may pagka, eh, Aquarius siya. <laughs> diba? Example lang, eh, Aquarius siya. Eh, hindi siya ganun. Medyo detached kasi ang mga Aquarius pagdating sa relationship. So, parang ikaw, yung iniisip mo na, teka, yun yung needs ko eh. Pero hindi niya kayang i-deliver. So, parang ikaw, mag arte arte ka. <laughs> na, pwedeng magkikreate ka ng, ng away or mag, mag-i-initiate ka ng away ng hindi alam ng person mo na meron ka palang in-expect sa kanya. ba diba? So, you also have the third house. Mm, kaloka. So, the third house, this is a house of Gemini and Mercury. So, this is about communication. Okay? So, ang importante rito kasi, open yung communication nyo. Hindi nyo itinatago yung, yung pagtingin nyo sa bawat isa, yung thoughts nyo sa bawat isa. You have to be more open in sharing what you think about your person. And at the same time, yung person mo rin. No? Uh, maganda rin na kung ano yung impression nyo sa'yo, yung gusto nyo sa'yo, yung expectations nyo sa'yo. Open-minded ka rin na i-accept yun. Para mag-work yung relationship. Kasi kung hindi, no maaring darating doon sa point na pareho kayong makukonsume, mapapagod and then wala na no if you are single naman maaring darating din doon sa panahon na parang wala ka nang tiwala sa relationship dahil akala mo hindi nila kayang ibigay yung expectation mo pero ang totoo hindi mo lang kasi kino-communicate yung gusto mo okay So, that is your reading, Gemini. Kung nagustuhan nyo ito, naka-resonate kayo, mag-comment kayo dyan, like, share, subscribe, para lagi kayong updated sa ating mga readings. Thank you so much, Gemini. See you again.